Hey guys, and welcome back to another book review. Now, this book review is slightly interesting because it's not like anything I've ever read before. This is a book that I was sent by Back Patio Press. This is an advanced reader's copy. This book is coming out in October of 2019. So thanks to you guys for sending me a copy. This is Photographs of Madness by Alec Ivan Fugate. I think that's how you pronounce your name. I'm very sorry if I am incorrect. Like I said, I'm not great with pronouncing names, which is funny because my last name is a tongue twister and people usually don't know how to say it either. So I always feel bad for not pronouncing people's names right. I did receive this book for free, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to give you guys my honest opinion. All my thoughts are 100% my own. You guys know this. I am not gonna lead you astray with books. I like to tell you guys exactly how I feel about books. So let's start with the way this book looks because this is a very unique looking book and I like it a lot. So it is a soft, touch cover. However, there is no title on this cover whatsoever. It just has this little design and I actually really like the design. It reminds me of Arctic Monkeys, their AM album. If you don't know who Arctic Monkeys is, they're an English rock band, but their AM album has this sort of like, they have the same um, pattern going across it on their album. But I love the design. I think it's really cool. I, I don't know. It just is really interesting to me. It has a little glass, a little mouth, a little cactus, and then a little closet. And I think it's really cute. And then again, another interesting point of this design is the back does not have a synopsis at all. It continues the pattern. And then here it makes a little like, it looks like it's intertwining which I just, I don't know, I think it's really cool. So again, I didn't have a lot to go on off this book. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I know in the email he did give me a slight synopsis, uh, but not a whole lot. It wasn't like, it was just like a small, small little paragraph. So I actually kind of find that interesting that I didn't quite know what I was getting myself into because you kind of do have to judge this book by the cover which is kind of interesting. I don't know, I, I do like that, I do like that. Okay, so let's go into the plot. I'm gonna give you some details. This is a very, very short book. It's only 82 pages, I believe. So I'm not gonna tell you too, too, too much. I'm just gonna give you a little slight synopsis of everything so you kind of know what the book's about. So this book is broken up into four parts. Part one is Flask Drowning. Part two is Seizing. Part three is Ska Gardens. And part four is Cellar Silence. So I was very intrigued how it was going to be split into four parts because it's quite short but I do like the way it was split up. The first part takes place in November of 1924, and the main character is Shelly, who is an alcoholic. And one day she smells a scent coming from her closet and she decides to investigate it. Part two takes place in November of 1962, and the main character is Linus, and his brother has just died and he is in his brother's apartment when he smells a scent coming from the closet which he goes to investigate. Part three takes place in November of 1990 and the main character is Schaefer and he is in a band with his friend Kyle and they're both squatting in an abandoned apartment. While they're getting high, Kyle smells a scent coming from the closet and Schaefer kind of forces him to go check it out. Later, when Kyle doesn't return, Schaefer smells the scent and decides to go find out what's going on. Part four takes place in November of 2018, and the main character is Lauren, and she's doing a school project on her town. She learns about a sickness that occurred in their town and about how a certain apartment is haunted. She learns about how they found a woman dead in the 20s, a man dead in the 60s, and two men dead in the 90s. So that's all I'm going to tell you about the plot 
if I give you any more detail, it's going to give away a lot of the plot, which I am trying not to do. I just want you to get familiar with this story. The writing style is very interesting. It's almost disconnected in a certain way. I don't really know how to explain it. It just doesn't make a lot of sense when you're reading it at first, especially the first three parts. It's very disconjointed, almost like a poem where you kind of have to interpret it. All four stories take place within days of each other, but all in separate years. One's in the 20s, one's in the 60s, one's in the 90s, and one's in 2018. So it's it's very interesting because it's all within, I mean, a few days, but it's all different years, which I actually really liked that because I noticed it immediately and I liked seeing how they connected in that way. I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea what was going on in this book until the third and the fourth part. That's when things started connecting for me. The first two parts were kind of jumbly in my head. I didn't quite know what was happening. Once the story started coming together, I started enjoying it a lot, lot more. I don't like being too confused, but it doesn't leave you confused for that long, which I appreciate because at first I was kind of like, I don't know how to interpret this book. But as I kept reading, I was like, okay, 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 here we go. Here's where it starts coming together. Like I said, it's a very short, only 82 pages. So it's such a quick read. I read it in like an hour, I think, an hour and a half, maybe. Very, very, very quick. This may not make sense, but I want to compare this book to a painting. It's kind of like where you have to stare at it for a few minutes to fully understand what you're looking at. You have to really take a step back to understand the full picture. I really think this person took an artistic approach to this book, which I think is very, very unique. I really liked the ending. It made everything tie in and I really liked that because I was hoping that everything would tie in, but I was nervous that it wouldn't, but it really fit together really nicely in the end. Once I understood the writing style a little bit more, where it was easier for me to follow and kind of see where he was leading me, I enjoyed the story a lot more. I would recommend this book to people who like a more thoughtful, artistic book piece. It does leave you a little bit confused and kind of guessing what's happening. So if you do like that and you like a really short kind of like easy peasy book, I think this one would be perfect for you. I highly recommend keeping an eye out for this book because I do think it's very interesting and a very unique take on horror writing. It's not something I've really seen because most of the time it's more of a story and storytelling and this is more like I said it's more poetic in my eyes it's very disjointed and I don't know if he meant to do that I'm assuming he did I don't know it's just very artsy in my eyes which I think is very cool it's a very different it's not something I've read before so if you're looking for something very different in the horror genre I think you might like this but it will be coming out next month. Like I said, I got an advanced copy to read for you guys. So those are all my thoughts. I know this is a pretty short video, but like I said, the book's only 82 pages. And honestly, I can't say too, too much without giving you guys like everything, which I don't want to do. I got to leave you guys with some so you like want to go see the book for yourself. You know, I don't want to spoil everything. So thank you again to Back Patio Press for sending this book my way. I really enjoyed reading it. I hope you guys come out with more books. I'm very interested to see what you guys have coming out for us. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Think about subscribing to my channel and I hope I see you guys in the next one. Bye!